Once more, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have caught the public's attention with a new PR move, an alleged effort to help families who are mourning the loss of their children due to online harm. On Meghan's 43rd birthday, they introduced this ambitious plan called Parents Network, which is being initiated by Archwell Foundation. The project aims at providing comfort to parents struggling with issues such as cyberbullying or sexual harassment on behalf of their deceased kids through a secure environment where it'll be safe for them deal towards recovery from these traumatic experiences. Having labelled themselves as the Digital Ages Rescuers, Harry and Meghan have launched a network that boasts notable collaborators such as NSPCC. This daring venture was commended for its innovative approach to empowering those impacted by online dangers subsequent to an October meeting on mental health within the digital era. The Parents Network's objective is to offer support and aid to parents in the US, Canada, and the UK by means of shrewd self-marketing. Archwell has thoughtfully dispersed a collection of guides on several social media platforms for those residing outside these countries. Nevertheless, their commendable mission was met with abrupt resistance when the NSPCC issued an uncompromising retort. The charity's reply indicated that it is not currently collaborating with the Archwell Foundation or Parents Network. The NSPCC made a pointed disclaimer emphasizing their lack of involvement in Harry and Meghan's recent endeavor despite acknowledging its significance for digital safety. Furthermore, they developed a resource page as a response to publicity surrounding Archwell's campaign. The NSPCC has provided a diplomatic response that efficiently avoids the topic at hand. Despite Harry and Meghan's aspirations for their online safety initiative to be groundbreaking, the truth is rather dull compared to what they imagined. The charity's answer demonstrates that Archwell Foundation may only have been mentioned briefly instead of being genuinely involved in this cause, as implied by its cordial yet firm rejection. The fact that NSPCC established a specialized page of materials in response to the promotion of Archwell is noteworthy. It appears that amidst Meghan and Harry's efforts to coordinate their most recent public relations spectacle, the organization had no choice but to intervene and compensate for what seems like an absence of meaningful content on behalf of the couple. The situational irony at play here is quite enjoyable. The endeavor of Markle and Harry to capitalize on a reputable charity has resulted in a major failure. Their typical approach involves introducing ambitious plans that lack proper implementation, with the parents network serving as another example of their trademark self-promotion. This pattern of initiating flashy projects but failing to see them through is becoming increasingly common. People who are observant have noticed that Harry and Meghan tend to exaggerate their involvement in causes, only to disappear later on. The NSBCC's reaction emphasizes a crucial point, if the couple were sincerely committed to promoting online safety and providing assistance for grieving parents, they should disclose their contributions more openly instead of prioritizing surface-level aspects of their initiatives. The focus of the Archwell Foundation appears to be more on appearance rather than making a significant difference. As a result, it comes as no shock that Meghan and Harry's recent initiative has not met expectations. Their pattern of exaggerating their involvement in philanthropic efforts without offering concrete assistance is an ongoing issue. The NSBCC's firm rejection of any substantial alliance highlights the necessity for authentic involvement rather than just using names.